Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Under the NLP series, today we will be learning tagging parts of speech or tagging POS. What is this tagging POS? It's a fundamental task in natural language processing that involves assigning grammatical categories such as nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. to individual words in a given text. In simple words, labeling the words in a sentence according to their parts of speech. This process helps computers understand the structure and meaning of sentences. There is a link given here which shows what are the tags under our NLP. So here you can see there are around 36 tags which are involved to show the, um, show, show the tagging in the parts of speech. So like we have NN which uh, describes noun, singular or mask, JJ which describes adjective, DT which describes determiner, Similarly, you have uh, RB which describes adverb. Okay, so now let us go to the coding part now. Okay, so let us start importing NLTK. Once NLTK uh, library is imported, let us import POS underscore tag function from NLTK. So this function in NLTK can be used to perform parts of speech tagging on a list of words. Okay, so once POS tag function has been downloaded. We are supposed to download uh, average underscore perceptron underscore tagger library again from NLTK. So this average underscore perceptron underscore tagger is a parts of speech tagging model which is included in natural language toolkit. It's a popular Python library for natural language processing. So once this has been downloaded, okay, now let us give a collection of words. So here I have used Boto Unicity under a list and I have used it uh, as an argu argument inside POS underscore tag function. Okay, and I have stored that under txt variable. So let me uh, run this. Okay, so now POS underscore tag will define under what parts of speech or under what grammatical category does this Boto Unicity belongs to. Okay, so let us print the uh, txt variable so you can see this both unicity it uh, it comes under nn so what is this nn it uh, defines noun singular or mass okay okay so once this is done so now let us give a sentence and store it under txt variable so once that is done so this uh, sentence has to be broken down into words so this can only be done by a tokenization process so I'm importing the word underscore tokenize from NLTK dot tokenize. Once that is done, so we'll be downloading a punk KT li uh, library to tokenize the words in a particular sentence. So once that library has been downloaded, now the, the text, the sentence which we have stored, right? The GDP measures the monetary value of, of final goods and services. Okay, this sentence which we have stored under text will be given as the input to this word underscore tokenize and this will be saved into the result okay so now let us print the result okay so now you can see the the breaking down of the words from the particular sentence so you, you had a sentence here like gdp measures the monetary monetary value of final final goods so everything has been breaking down as uh, words now uh, once this uh, words has been broken down from the sentence now we can assign uh, pos underscore tag to this words and define it to under what parts of speech do they belong to so for that i'm going to print this sentence so which this sentence it shows that uh, which shows that pos is nothing but nltk dot pos underscore tag of result so we know what is the result the uh, breaking down of the uh, the word which has been tokenized right so that we are providing under POS. So this POS underscore tag method, which takes in a list of tokenized words. Okay, so it will take this words. Okay, list of tokenized words and, and the tags of each of them with the corresponding parts of speech identified into tuples. So it will show you what are the tags allocated to all those words. So once the result has been uh, once has been assigned. So now let us print this POS and see what are the words and the corresponding grammatical category. So for GDP, we have NNP. For measures, we have VBZ. 
for the we have dt for monetary we have jj so now let us uh, for example let us check what is this what are this corresponding tuples like jj n and in so you can come here so these are the tags here the short form which has been assigned to this particular word like jj which uh, which describes adjective okay uh, dt here which uh, describes determiner you can see here you also have dt okay the it, it defines under determiner okay to to know what particular tags what are the full form of those tags okay so here we have something called tag sets we can download the tag set so tag sets are nothing but which refers to a defined set of parts of speech tags that are used to label words in a text according to the grammatical category so once the tag sets are downloaded let us uh, use this function nltk.help.upen underscore tag tag set so what is this a particular tag set the pos underscore tag function uses the pen tree bank tag set function by default to identify the meanings of individual tags so you have the individual tags right nnp vbz in a short form so it will give you a meaning uh, and it will describe like it will give you a full form of what it is okay for that only we are downloading this tag set and after the tag set we are also uh, nltk will will also give you this function NLTK dot help. It's a helper function. So NLTK dot help dot upen underscore target. In this, you have to provide the tag which you want to know what it is. So for example, here I have provided JJ. Okay, I have provided the JJ tag. Okay, so this defines what what is JJ. So it describes that JJ is nothing but adjective or numerical or or comma ordinal. Okay. So similarly, you can give something like DT. Okay. So it's nothing but determiner, which we have we which we have already seen from this particular link, right? The same thing. Either you can use that link, okay, or else you can download the tag set to know what 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 is the meaning of the particular tag. Okay. So once this is done, okay, okay. So in a sentence, you will have uh you will have different tags, right? So there, because there will be different collection of words and and correspondingly there will be different tags. Okay, so if you want to see a, a collective part of a tag, for example, if you want to see uh, how many JJ tags are available in a particular sentence, for for that you have, you have to run this for loop. So in this for loop, I am I am giving this um, that what tag I want. For example, I want to know uh, what are the so how many tags are there corresponding to this grammatical category called JJ. For that, I am running this for loop. And it will show me that there are three words which are defined as monetary, final, final under JJ adjective. So if you want to know what are what are the de determiners in your particular parts in your particular sentence for that. So these are the determiners available in your sentence like the, those, the, a, a. Okay. So if you have liked this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Thank you. Bye bye.